Larry Williams here with TigerIllustrated.com. Um, I was asking Coach Sweeney earlier about the Travis's big run and and how I guess excited the coaches were about seeing Davis's big block um, of, of that linebacker to to, to really spring him. Um, and I guess you've already talked about how physical he is, but I'm just curious um, for your your reflections on on that and his his presence uh, now being established as a as a as a as a blocker, a, a legitimate blocker in in big time settings like that. Oh yeah, I think we kind of all knew um, what Davis was capable of. Um, even last year, um, he showed he showed spurts of that. Um, I just think that. Uh, you know, he, I mean, he made a great play. He has plenty of good blocks, but he, I think he also does a great job in the receiving game as well, not just as a blocker. Um, and I think that's what makes him, you know, a great player that he's complete, he's well-rounded. Um, I mean, he can run routes and get open. I mean, you, see, you saw the, the touchdown towards the end of the game. Um, he's had a few big plays against uh, Wake and Virginia um, in the receiving game. And I think blocking is, is something, obviously, he's great at, but I think he's a complete player and he's he's a well-rounded player. And that's what makes him, you know, so significant to our team and especially to our position. Are there any more questions for Braden? Hey, Braden, this is Will Van Ort from the Clemson Insider. Um, that play for the touchdown, can you talk about how uh, – how different that was for you, and, and and we, you know, I'm sure you guys work on that a lot in practice. But uh, when they called it, your thoughts, and 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 did you feel like it was going to work again? Um, yeah, we had a feeling it would work. Um, you know, we I think we ran it, you know, five years ago whenever they played, they played Miami at Miami. Um, so I mean, we we kind of worked on it a few times throughout the week. Um, it ended up being you know one of the one of the first plays or one of the first plays in our first in our first you know rack of plays. Um, and yeah, I mean, it ended up we, we successfully we successfully did it. So I mean, it was good. It was a good play call. Um, but yeah, like you said, we worked on it all week. You know, getting the timing and stuff of that down. Uh, you know, making sure nobody's off sides and things like that. But um, I'm just glad we were able to execute it well. Did you feel sorry for the DV that that got hammered there by Jackson on that play? Yeah, yeah. That's when when Jackson is running full speed and you're in his way, that's kind of that's going to end bad for, really for anybody. Um, but yeah, it was uh, the whole line was pretty much down the down the field blocking. So I'm appreciative for them for, on that play, um, and really all night. So yeah, they did a great job. Hey, Braden, it's Josh from the Post and Courier. On, on that second touchdown, you kind of had a collision with the defender trying to tackle you, and you're able to like stand over him for a moment. Just what was that like to kind of win that battle and be able to cross the goal line like that? What did you say? You kind you kind of went out. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, just for that second touchdown, you kind of had that collision with the defender as you crossed the goal line. You kind of had you stood over him for a minute. Just what was it like to be able to kind of win that battle with him and be able to cross the goal line like that? Um, that was just kind of heated a moment thing. You know, obviously I was excited. Um, you know, to be able to get an end zone, but obviously that's just the passion for the game showing right there, just in the heat of the moment. Um, but you know, like I said, I'm just happy we were able to you know come out with the win, and I was able to do some things throughout the game, you know, to, to play a part in that. And um, like you said, that was just one of those, that was just one of the plays that um, you kind of see, you kind of see the passion flowing throughout throughout the players when things like that happen through a game. So, I mean, it was an exciting moment, um, but you're just trying to get to the next play and just keep getting better. Brandon, is in, in a chippy game like that, um, when, you know, there's targeting and a lot of yapping, is there a a fine line between uh, sticking up for yourself and, and but then doing too much and uh, drawing a flag or drawing the ire of your of your coach? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, we just try to stay calm. Um, you know, it's all about the little things. When when games get like that, you know, you just focus on playing the game and not necessarily talking about it or not necessarily. Um, you know, getting into it with, with other guys and things like that. I just think the biggest thing is just focusing on what we need to execute and how we need to execute it. Um, and then that'll take care of itself. Um, you know, we don't really need to really be talking throughout the game whenever, if we're doing the things that we're supposed to be doing, our game can speak for ourselves, so. Can, can it be sometimes hard to resist that temptation though? Oh yeah, for sure, yeah, for sure. Every competitor, you know, you wanna, if somebody says something to you, it's gonna be, 
you know, that's your pride. You know, that's everything on the line that, that you're talking about if you feel like you don't say anything back. Um, but when you're playing through the whistles and you're able to, you know, do your job well through the whistles, then, like I said, it, that'll take care of itself and you don't really need to say anything. But, yeah, it, it is it is some temptation. And, obviously, you know, you know, some guys can get carried away. Some guys handle it differently than others. Um, but as a collective unit, we, you know, we just try to stay together. We try to stay calm.